Донором спермы. Анонимная. Видимо, в клинике произошла ошибка. Что? Вы биологический отец? 500? 33 детей. Что? Это дело очень, очень запутанное. Подыскать настоящего адвоката? Настоящего тебе не потянуть. Здесь подробные данные на твоих детишек. Не вздумай открывать. Я сделал глупость. Открыл конверт, достал анкету. Зря, но я... Зря не то слово. Я актер, которого не отпускают на пробы, что изменят всю мою жизнь. Давай подменю тебя. Да кто ты такой вообще? Тот, кто умеет варить кофе. А -а -а -а! Я не это заказывал. Зато бесплатно. Well, really, all the credit goes to him. He wrote a fantastic story, and I was really impressed with him as a director because nowadays a lot of times a movie is just a comedy or just dramatic, and this really is both and sentimental as well. And it's very surprising where the movie goes to and really kind of cracks you open. It gets you to laugh, it gets you to feel. It's a very, very special movie. I saw the original, the uh, Starbuck movie, um, the French-Canadian version. Gosh, I think probably a couple months before I even read the script, uh, I heard it was in development and somebody said I should watch it and I just, I loved it. It was such a great story and um, the actors were so wonderful in it. And um, I also just like really love foreign films, um, but, When I heard it was being um, remade, I was like slightly hesitant because I didn't know why I thought it was so good. Um, and then when I heard that Ken Scott, who also wrote and directed Starbuck, was doing the remake, um, it made me really excited because he obviously had such a great vision and, and um, such great storytelling abilities with the first one. I think the difference between the original version and my, and the version that I was in, with the character have tend to be based around the court proceedings. Um, there's more dialogue that's written in there. Um, in the original movie, that, that piece is done almost as a montage to music. And in our movie, we, they take the, both the defense and the prosecution in the courtroom have dialogue that they talk about. And there, there are points that are hit about the importance of of children and and the importance of the anonymity clause that that David Wozniak signed. Ну, в общем, вот что я решила. Я пока ещё не до конца тебе верю. Но мне очень хочется записать тебя в отцы. Нет, Дэвид, стой. Тебе назначат испытательный срок. Испытательный срок. Да. Всё очень строго. Надолго? Well, I think it depends. I think there's all those feelings inside of it, you know, and I think even with going into parenthood, you can have fear for what does this mean to my life and also so much happiness and joy. So um, I think that the movie is really about a lot of relatable situations that we all go through, the hope for your children, the fear of what you don't want them to get into, and also for younger people, your lives, what you want to do with your life. and the feeling of connection to be connected to your family and have those feelings. I, I really like the relationship even in the movie with my brothers because mm -hmm. they kind of tease each other, but your family and you kind of stick with each other too, which is nice. Мир желает знать, кто такой чудо-бык. Это может стать самым счастливым событием в жизни. У тебя не хватит сил быть отцом. Папа. Ладно, перестань. Я хочу навести порядок в жизни. Это порядок, по-твоему? You know, there, there are different reasons why a kid would want to know who their biological parents are. Maybe you want to know if they have any type of illnesses, or maybe you want to know if the person that you're dating is your sister or something, you know? That, that might be done. That might be something good. But also, I think there's just a general curiosity. I think people want to know about themselves, and the best way to know about themselves is to take a look at their parents, I think. Как бы поступил на моем месте нормальный человек. А нормальный на твоем месте не оказался бы. Да! Дэвид, оставь в покое детей. Может, первый раз в жизни я поступаю правильно. За ними нужно присмотреть. Такси! 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 Сюда, такси, такси! Им нужен ангел-хранитель. Эй, крошка! Я не понял, парень, тебе что, зубы жмут? Когда ты их защищаешь, ты ходишь в маске? I think I was raised with a very close family, so I always, in the back of my mind, knew that I wanted to have a family. I think what happens in my generation was we were told you have to really work, don't get married too young, focus on yourself. And so a lot of my friends when we got to our 30s thought, this is crazy, like how do we meet someone? We spent so much time just focused on our careers, it, it gets harder to 
into a relationship and a lot of girls that I knew woke up and said I have such a short window now to try to meet someone so I feel like it's um, it's important to look for that person in your life uh, and be open to that if it's something that you want there's no timetable to say can only happen at this age or this age if you're you know it's something that you have to kind of be working towards because you know for me I think marriage is the best thing but it's also the hardest thing you you have to work at marriage you have to be trying at the relationship so it it's nice if it's something that you want to do. Я актер, которого не пускают на пробы, что изменит всю мою жизнь, а ты ждешь, что я буду улыбаться за вшивые три бакса с четвертью? Что я буду улыбаться, когда моя судьба летит ко всем чертям? Но с улыбкой ведь проще живется. Ладно. I really loved the story. I really loved. Um, I, I really loved that it was about family and that it was. You know, there was this woman, and she. You know, it's one thing to be a, a really strong woman, but it's also it, it's also a strong choice to choose to stay with your partner and try to make it work for the benefit of your child. And um, I was really excited about uh, playing that kind of character who had to deal with those conflicts. Well, I feel very excited now, starting with Delivery Man. This is a very, very special movie. It's got a lot of comedy, but it's got a lot of drama and sentimental stuff in it, too, and a lot of heart. And it's moving a little more dramatic for me, which is sort of where I'm going. And, you know, the, the next movie I'm doing is with the same director, and it was the writer who wrote Pursuit of Happiness, mm -hmm. and it's with Tom Wilkinson and with Dave Franco, and it's... Um, comedic but it's like this movie it has a lot of emotion and heart in it as well so i'm really liking currently where the direction i'm going каждый из нас мечтает найти отца мой клиент имеет право на анонимность я лишь хочу сказать мы победили дэвид нет дэвид это кто мой любовник я тебя люблю дэвид 